Democrats are warning President Biden to take a good hard look in the mirror and stop blaming other people for his problems or lose big in the midterms. Yeah, I said that right, Democrats. One Democratic strategist saying, quote, Democrats need to wake up here, smell the coffee, and start to get ready. And another says no one is going to have to vote on Vladimir Putin anytime soon, referring to Biden blaming Putin for the price hike. Fox News contributor Laura Trump joins us now. Laura, good morning to you. Democrats are worried, and they should be. But the strange thing is, is that the Biden administration doesn't appear to be changing strategy. Yeah, they keep doubling down on the wrong thing, apparently, at every turn in the Biden administration. But some Democrats, as you guys have just referenced, are waking up and realizing what is coming down the pipe. I mean, the, the reality is Vladimir Putin is not on the ticket, and they know that no one is buying this Putin lie. I mean, my gosh, the White House went so far as to even try to get TikTok stars, teenagers, to push this propaganda, and nobody bought it. And I think that they're realizing now that the American people would be a little more forgiving if at any turn this administration would have admitted that there are major issues in America, which they continue to fail to do, or have come up with any sort of common sense solutions for things like inflation, gas prices, our southern border, life after COVID. But time and time again, they continue to fail the American people on these things. And then to add insult to injury, you have Joe Biden out there traveling across the country, sort of wandering around, trying to tout an infrastructure package. Um, it's almost like rubbing salt in the wound to the American people. No one cares about infrastructure, Joe Biden, when they can't afford their rent and their groceries. So I, I'm going to agree with these Democrats here. None of this is helpful for them as they head towards these midterms. And until the Biden administration wakes up and starts to realize that, I think the poll numbers are going to tank. And I mean, they're just going to have to brace for impact as mm. we head towards November. From the midterms to 2024, yeah. RNC voting to withdraw from the Commission on Presidential Debates because it is, quote, biased and has refused to enact simple and common sense reforms to help ensure fair debates, including hosting debates before voting begins and selecting moderators who have never worked for candidates on the debate stage. That, of course, coming from Ronna McDaniel, the RNC chairwoman. Will this ensure fairness in the debate process? Or is there even going to be a debate process at all? Well, I think we need a debate process. And I think these were very straightforward, basic measures that the RNC proposed here. I mean, think about 2020, 26 states had already started voting before we saw the two candidates on stage in any debate format. And, you know, you need to be able to hear the positions of these candidates on a variety of issues so you can make an informed decision. Think back to 2016. Hillary Clinton ended up somehow beforehand at one of the debates with all the questions. It is very clear if you look at the commission's board, these people were posting in social spaces on social media their displeasure for Donald Trump. They hated him so much. This is supposed to be an unbiased committee. So my goodness, I hope it's a step in the right direction because yeah. we all need to have faith in our electoral process. Absolutely. That's for sure. Certainly one to watch. Big headline there. Laura, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Happy Easter to you Happy and your Easter. family as well. Happy Easter. Aww. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.